Hi, my name is Phil and welcome to Phil's English class. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you words that you can use instead of but. But is a bad word. It's not a bad word, but it's not a good word to use. So I'm going to show you alternatives. This is important if you're writing and sometimes when you are speaking. When I was in university, you would see people, you, you would see people in the library writing an essay and they would have Google open and they would be looking for other words for but. <laughs> because using in an, in a, when you're writing something for academic purposes, if you're writing but, 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 it sounds bad. If you're writing something formal, don't use but. Use one of these. But don't use it twice. You use one, then the second time, use a different one. It'll make what you're writing be more interesting and it'll just be better. When you're speaking, when I'm speaking, I say but, <laughs> okay? But sometimes I will say these. When I'm speaking, I will say, sometimes I say but, sometimes I say these alternatives. But it is very important to know. It will make your English more beautiful, okay? Give you a better vocabulary. So let's begin with the first example. Although, although I love the actor, I hated the film. Although I love the actor, I hated the film. So you're at the cinema with your friends. Hopefully the cinemas are open soon. Are they open in your country? They're not open here, okay? But when they are open, you watch a movie and it's finished and you say, although I love the actor, I hated the film. So you're using although instead of but. I love the actor, but I hated the film. So we don't want to use but for all of these, okay? We want to use more beautiful English. Although I love the actor, I hated the film. So these are clauses of contrast. So it's when there's, it's a contrast. It's when there's a little bit of a surprise. You love the actor, so it's a little bit of a surprise that you hated the film, okay? The next example. It's the same information and the same context. I hated the film, though I love the actor. I hated the film, though I love the actor. So, what you can see here is that you can use <clears throat> although or though, they're the exact same in meaning. Although is a little bit more formal. But what we can see here is that although and though can be used at the beginning of a sentence or in the middle. If you use it in the middle, you need a comma before it, okay? So I can say, although I love the actor, I hated the film. I hated the film, though I love the actor. Or I could turn it around. I love the actor, though I hated the film. Both are correct. It depends on what you want the emphasis on. So you could say, I hated the film. This is the important statement. Or you could say, I love the actor, though I hated the film. It depends. It's your decision of what is important. The important part you put first, okay? The next example, I love Ireland, even though I hate the rain. Some students have asked me, Phil, how do you like the rain? I, I don't like the rain. I hate the rain. It rains a lot here and I don't like it, okay? So I love Ireland, even though I hate the rain. So it's a little bit of a surprise to you, maybe. I hate rain, but I love Ireland, okay? It's a little bit of a contrast. So now I'm going to teach you despite and in spite of. 
these are a little bit different. These are only at the beginning of the sentence. I'm just going to show you that here, okay? So you use despite or in, in spite of with a noun, with a verb in ing form, the gerund form, or the fact that, the fact that. So I should underline the fact that actually. There we go. An ing and then the. So despite the weather, we had a good time. Despite the weather, we had a good time. So the weather was bad, but you enjoyed yourself. People talk about this in Ireland about weddings because it rains a lot in Ireland, but you still enjoy a good wedding. So despite the weather, we had a good time. Despite the rain, we had a good time. Despite the argument, <laughs> despite the argument, despite the fight, we had a good time. In spite of, in spite of, in spite of it raining, ing, in spite of it raining, we had a good time. In spite of it raining, we had a good time. Despite the fact that they lost, we had a good time. So you support uh, Real Madrid and you go to the bar with your friends to watch it, they lose. But you had a good time. Despite the fact that they lost, we had a good time. So if you are ever writing something looking for a job and you want to say but, don't use but in an email. Use one of these examples. It will make what you're writing sound more interesting and it will make you look more fluent. That's my video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please click like and there's a subscribe button in the corner. Thank you very much.